A tomb on the seashore near Muscat inscribed First Bishop of Lahore and First Missionary to Muscat followed by the verse John 12:24. It is the tomb of a missionary who served decorously in British India and among the Muslims despite his poor health went on to Arabia and finally fell on the ground of Muscat as a colonel of wheat. Praise the Lord. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome back to Daily One Missionary Biography. Today we are going to introduce you Thomas Walpe French. Born in England, Burton on Trent in 1825, 1st of January. Thomas was the eldest child of a clergyman in the Anglican Church. In his childhood, an interest in overseas missionary arose in him due to visiting missionaries and he used to pray for them along with his siblings. He was clever and scholarly. A request of H. W. Fox, a missionary in India, and a speech from Bishop Samuel Wilberforce made him commit his life to the missionary work. Therefore, he joined the Church Missionary Society CMS, and embarked on his journey to India in 1850. In 1851, Thomas established St. John's College in Agra. Despite his busy schedule with the administrative works of the college, he always devoted time to evangelism. He preached in local markets, went on evangelism tours around Agra, and always spent time on personal evangelism. He learned seven Indian languages and was called Seven-Tongued Man. In 1862, he confounded the Rajat mission in the Pakistan region, but soon returned to England as his health deteriorated due to heavy workload. Upon his return, he established St. John's Divinity School, Lahore in 1869. It provided training for the ministry and to be as witnesses in secular fields. Thomas believed that the Christian scholars should enter jobs in every secular field to stand as witnesses there. In 1877, he was appointed as the first Anglican Bishop of the Lahore Diocese. He worked to develop the indigenous church suitable to the local culture. Due to failed health, he returned to England in 1887, but in 1891 he responded to the call of CMS for the volunteers to Arabia. At the age of 66, Thomas stepped into Muscat, but he suffered from fever and exhaustion and died there after three months on 14th of May 1891. Beloved, in whichever field you are working, are you standing as a witness there? Lord, even my physical strength fails. Help me to have the zeal to serve you. Amen. May God bless you.